Here's a quick video of the geology of Diaz Lake. So, in 1872, a 6.9 to 7.2 earthquake struck in the middle of the night. And uh, we're standing where all these trees are amongst these hills right here. We're close to the Alabama hills, or just right here. So in this, all these trees were planted by the Diaz family, the Diaz ranch. And out of this cove, wait, where is it? Right over here. So out of that cove right there is Diaz Creek. And uh, it, flew, it flowed through here and uh, naturally went out to the Owens. Well, what happened is this earthquake pushed up the fault, which runs right there at the road. You see where that truck is? That little rise right there, that ledge, is actually a fault scarp that's right there. So when you pull in right over here, that drop off at the boat dock, that ledge is like a small cliff, that's a fault scarp. And that fault scarp was up to 20 feet high in places. And um, when you're driving south on 395, if you're looking, if you're going south, if you look to the right along the road and on the left, just real close to the road on both sides, you'll see a gentle rise in the terrain, like a little slope. Well, that slope, you can see it there. It runs along over here and out and south. It's about 50 miles long. And you can see it from the satellite view pretty easy. But it's really neat to see it in person. So what happened is the fault scarp in less than a minute rose up about eight feet around here, eight to 10 feet and blocked Diaz Creek. And over time it just filled up. And because the lake took up a big part of his ranch, he left because he didn't know how big the lake was gonna get. So he moved all his cattle and everything and bailed and um, turned out to be a pretty nice little lake you should have stayed you would have had fresh water in the middle of summer out here which is not always easy to come by down here in the valley so yep so that's what it was it blocked Diaz Creek and made this lake so this is my favorite time of the lake um, day at this lake is um, real close to sunset when the the Inyos are lit up these are the Inyo Mountains right here, and the town of Beverage is right up there. Very hard. The guys on YouTube have videos of it of being up there. Man, hats off to those folks. That is a very hard hike. There's two ways to approach it, and I've seen um, the adventure hiker, Will, uh, go up this side and make it, and then he came up the back side as well, so pretty impressive. Looking for that last minute nighttime bite right before we leave. So you get about 45 minutes. Once the sun's over there, it's a rule of thumb here in the Sierra. When the sun goes down on the other side, you have about 45 minutes, maybe an hour um, before it's basically dark out here. So if you see the sun go down, it gets kind of like a shade right here. Don't leave just yet because you'll have light for another 45 to an hour. So, but anyway. So that's the geology of the lake. Um, pretty neat, pretty neat history. They got the grave site over here in Lone Pine you can go check out. And a uh, sad fact, I guess, but it was just the way it was, that they buried the natives across the way. They didn't bury the natives and the miners in the same place. The pioneers had their own spot. So kind of cruel, but that's just the way it was. You know, in the days that was the mentality. So anyway. But if you have any questions about the lake um, or anything about the geology or whatever, let me know. We're going to talk about these hills another time because we got to go up inside and get way in there to show you what's going on. But there's some really neat geology stories about this that not many people know. So stay tuned. That's going to be a neat one. But we're going to have to four-wheel drive and hike and... It's going to be a really big video. Might come back and do that one in the spring. So that's it from the geology of Diaz Lake. Enjoy a little shot of the Inyos for a little bit.